Hello everybody, my name is Hayden, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we tried to fight Lord Crump, but that didn't really end too well, so we're going to try it again. That's right, again. I probably should have switched off of um, Bill, because he's not the most effective. We already know how much health he has. It's... Oh wait, I was able to do way more damage to him than I was to, um, to, uh, Cortez. Damn. I know that he has 30 health, so that's all I have to worry about. Come on. Um. Let's do a bomb on them. Only does four damage. Damn, Bobber, you suck. We'll do a multi bounce. That way we can get rid of the minion X knots. Alright, I'm not gonna read dialogue, cause. Huh. What the fuck? Oh, I guess it is their turn. That's so dumb. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna have to do an Earth Tremor first. Because this. Whenever the X Knots are up there, they're like impossible to defeat without an Earth Tremor. And it has to be a perfect Earth, uh, perfect earth Tremor, too. So I can't miss it all. Damn it! Will it hit high enough? I, even if it doesn't want to do six damage, yep, just five. Okay, that's really cool. <laughs> Whatever. Four damage. What the hell? This is not gonna end well. It's gonna end worse than last time. He's gonna consume more health. What bullshit? And I think I have to just keep bombing them. Yeah, I have to just keep bombing the crowd. Okay, this sucks. This really does suck. Um, I'm just gonna keep power bouncing him. Damn, I keep missing. Ah, oh, if I could have gotten that, that would have been so nice. Damn. Sucks that I'm out of star points from the last battle. Damn it. Lucky, okay, that's good. I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna try to do another power bounce. Four. Are you kidding? I'm hitting it. You know what sucks is he's just gonna bring these guys back with his next turn. Oh, he's not. That's okay. Nope, he's gonna bring it back. That's such bullshit. Not bad. Not bad. But if I, I don't know, if he gets both hits in, then I'm, I might be screwed. Oh, it only hit me for two. Okay, lucky. Nice. Um, I'm gonna take a chance. I'm just gonna Earth Tremor. I'm sorry, Bobbery. <laughs> might still kill him. I don't know. I don't know how much health he has left. Yes? 
Yes? Yes? Yes! Oh my god. That was such a close call. Oh my god. Man, this is getting old. How could I lose again? I hate losing. Now I gotta think of another excuse for Grota, sir. And with that, pow, I'm gone. We we've done it, old boy. I should I should say he won't be too keen on seeing us again, eh? Way to go, Yar! Eat seaweed. We did it. Way to go, eat seaweed. Save all game progress up to this point. Yes, I will. I don't know why boss fights are both are, are always taking me two attempts now. I feel like I'm. I feel like I should be good enough to just do them. You blew it again, Lord Crump. You're sick in me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously, we thought. We thought we had the guy cornered, but. Stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until next order. And, Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance, understood? Roger that. Then leave. Hey, you there. What is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again, and tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one crystal star in my hands, and Mario has five. I must take some measures. Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. Tech, what's that noise? You, what's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus's room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind tech, really. Ask me anything. Well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up as you did earlier. Alright, I think that is this way. Yep, here's the elevator. <sighs> Here we are with Princess Peach again. You will first go in the opposite direction of Sir Grotus' room. Exit the elevator and enter the room with the green lamp lit above it. I think it's this way. There we are. Now I will have you cons concoct a potion that will make you transparent. You mean a, a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Grotus' room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, okay, how do I make it? You must first set all of the positions on the desk in the concoctionator. Concoctionator. It's that machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion to set where. There should be memos left in the room by the Exnot researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. No, place the orange potion between the blue potion and the green potion. I'm just gonna do orange potion between the green and the blue? Alright, what are the notes? 
No, place two potions between the green and the red. Alright, so that means the red and green have to be on opposite sides. No. Um, what are the MMOs? No, place the blue potion next to the red potion. Alright, I did that. Do not place the red potion on the far right. Okay. Alright, I did it then. Yes. Very well. Then place the cube at the bottom on the control panel, located in the left side of the room. I believe this is right. Please press the button where the beaker stops to dispense each potion. Perfect. I will heat the mixed potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. Alright, I'm using my audacity thing to gauge it. It should be at 33, 35. Sorry, so boring. Alright, that should be good. I think that was 30 seconds. By my calculations, it should be finished, but did you come did it come out correctly, do you think? Very good. Then please drink it. All of it, if you please. What? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. Yeah. You have done it. You have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. But, I must ask you to take off your dress, however. Even the potion cannot make the dress invisible. What? That's indecent. No way. Oh, fine, I guess. If it's the only way... Her dress have a zipper. <sighs> when you go into Sir Grotus's room, first locate the disk with the recorded data. Then insert that disk into the personal computer and connect it to the network. When you are finished with that, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Gee, this is kind of complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now, please go to Sir Grotus's room. Oh, uh huh? Okay, that was creepy. Why did the doors open even though there's no one here? A malfunction, or am I just totally losing it here? Who knows, mister? Ugh. What happens if I, like, run into one of them? Hmm. I like how he doesn't even freak out, he's just like, that eh, makes sense. Alright. What? This must be Grotus' room. Now, where is that disc? Good question, princess. Well, okay, here's his computer at least, but I still need a f in, uh, that darn disc. Are they floppy? Found it. This must be it. <laughs> yeah, there. Um, oh yeah. Now I insert the disk into the computer and connect to the network. Um, what? I did it. Yes, I did it. It's working.
I'm so confused. Looks like it's all done. I would better put the disc back where I got it. There, Lego is never here. Perfect. Let's go back to tech then. Do I have to walk all the way back? Oh my god. So dumb. So tedious. Hmm, tech isn't talking to us. That's very strange. Maybe he is discovered something he doesn't want us to know. Hmm. Very tricky. Alright. Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. Now I will teach you how to become visible again. It is quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion and you will revert to normal instantaneously. Okay, just hang on one minute. Ah, the, uh, the naked, naked people. Uh. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here, the green potion, right? Yes, the green potion. What a relief. I was kind of worried that I might never become visible again. There was never any danger of that. Now, please return to the computer room. Tech is kind of an asshole. <laughs> Say, by the way, Tech, what was that data? I am still analyzing it. The data is very heavy, very heavily encrypted. But uh, if my prediction is correct, if it's correct, what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my anal anal analysis is complete. Overheating. <laughs> now, please use the com communicator if you wish. Okay, you'll tell me when the, you decipher the data, huh? Good. Then I'll use the communicator. Thanks. I have written my message. Would you send it? The message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay. Take care, tech. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, Tech. Princess Peach, I will protect you. Oh, little romance. Save all game progress up to this point? Yes, and speaking of that, um, I'm going to end off the episode here. So if you enjoyed this episode, consider hitting the like button, or even subscribing if you want to know next time I upload this video, or upload a video in the series, rather. Uh, check out my friends, not for gamers, Sky mini games. They will be in the description. Incorrect. They will be in the end card, along with players to watch the end. Uh, the rest of Paper Mario: Thousand Year Door from the beginning. Jesus Christ, I'm losing it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.